This was this was some of Mero's, I mean Melo's comments on the Randall shoulder injury, just from a player's perspective. Mm-hmm. And this is kind of why I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if they held him to uh to until uh until the playoffs actually started. Here's what Melo had to say. You know what I mean, so it's like that's different, and you you have to you have to bang right. You know what I mean? Because you, that, you, that, that's your you, game. That's like your you, game, bully you. ball. You know what I mean? So you got to put that shoulder down and and put it in a motherfucker's chest. So Man, I actually, it's not the, it's not, it's not the shooting arm. It's not the shooting shoulder. But is it still, you know what I mean? As bad or worse as if it was the shooting shoulder because of the way he plays? Yeah, because now you, if it's not you banging with your opposite shoulder, you get what I'm saying. Right, so. Now you. St- <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you're like, Yo. you get what I'm saying? So you going It's hard to like to show it, but if I'm facing up and it's my I'm my left shoulder, like I gotta bang you with my right shoulder. Boom. To get, you know, or I can go right. right. But I still gotta come back, you know. We have steps. Get, right. So I I gotta get people off. I gotta use both shoulders, both arms. You know what I mean? So you ain't pushing off with the same arm you're shooting with. Nah. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a lot of different little movements that you gotta be careful and just make sure that it's right. But I'm they gonna get them right. And then it's gonna come down to the the pain tolerance that you can take. Cause it's, it's you're gonna be in some type of pain. That's it's the gonna shit be too, un- like it's gonna be uncomfortable. That's the thing, like it's your the, shoulder, like the difference between like, All right, so so that was um, that was Mello at Mero seven p.m. the Brooklyn podcast. You know that's just Mero, just Mello's opinion. But I just it, it, he just made it feel he just made it seem like almost at any point you could re re injure yourself. You know what I mean? And that's just that, that's just what I got from it from a player's perspective. And, and and the adjustment that you have to make in terms of protecting that 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 shoulder. You know, are you going to be driving to your right? Are you going to be pump faking and getting guys up in the air, attacking the basket? Like, so it's like, it, 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 he just made it seem like it's a very tenuous situation where at any time it could go again. And if that's the case, are you really going to risk re injury in the regular season and not even get him to the postseason? That's just, that's just why I'm like, I wouldn't be surprised. If it comes down to the final day with him, I hear you. Wait. And, and look, Mel has history with you know a shoulder injury. He tore his labrum in his left shoulder when back like what 2013 when he was on the Knicks. So he he understands of having to make that adjustment and play through injury. But I, I just it's just hard for me to think, CP, that your second option on the Knicks, who is so important just offensively from what they do. You're not going to see him until the playoffs. So everybody now has to get readjusted to Randall joining. And not saying it's to, depending yeah. like the starting rotation should be fine, right? Like they they understand how he plays, but still like there's still a rhythm and chemistry. You just have Absolutely. to like you got to work out. All right, not 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 necessarily a big overhaul, but you still got to work through that. It's just hard for me to believe that you want to do that game one of the playoffs and just put everything on the line and say, you know what? I get the idea of wanting to protect Randall up until that point because you want him to be as fresh, healthy as possible for the most important part of the season. But then you're also putting, to me, a, a big risk on your postseason and saying now you have to integrate a guy who hasn't had enough time, man, to just get back into some rhythm. And yeah. that's where I just see, like, even if you told me, hey, Alex, it's going to be five games. I could say, you know what? At least five games going into the playoffs makes a little bit more sense than just day one, we go straight into the playoffs. That just seems it just seems too much of an ask just from not only Randall, but the entire team. Yeah, it's a fair point. To, to, totally fair point. And I think it, it's going to be even more important while he ramps up and, and they get him back. I think Precious and Hart are going to be two key pieces here. They're going to be very important. Hart, because, you know, he's still ha- he's going to have to do everything. The defense, the rebounding, scoring in the half court, and then Precious, same way. Defense, scoring, 
He's going to have to knock down those open shots if he's going to be out there in the half court in the playoffs. He's going to have to take those threes and knock those down as well. Uh, I think those two guys plus DiVincenzo, those two guys are going to have to make up a, a lot on both ends of the floor to make this thing going. You know, you can argue that, like, those those three guys are going to be almost like the most important, you know, non-Brunson guys to kind of help if Julius can't, you know, to, to help kind of supplement what Julius gives you out there. Yeah, and look, that's why it's important these guys are getting the reps they are right now, right? I mean, it's – if they just played – if everyone's healthy, then you're going to ask guys to just – get acclimated during the playoffs, but look, they're getting that experience right now, which is going to be great. And especially with Randall being injured, you need guys who are capable of doing that. And we're seeing right now, Josh Hart, Dante DiVincenzo, you know, they may not be able to do it as consistently um, on a night to night basis as you want from Brunson. Right. But still, they show you that you can, depending on the matchup, you know, depending on the night, they can give you just enough where you can rely on them. And this is where Tom Thibodeau just, would have to rely heavily on that defense, right? And yeah. that you know you can get that from OG. You know you can get that from Precious, Mitch, Hartenstein, like Jericho. You can give you gotta give Jericho some props today too, man, because he yeah. was out there uh, putting in that work. So true. You know, the, defensively this team should be set. Um, offensively though, we see we see that that that's the big question. Yep. Last year we saw it not enough offense in the second round. And so you can at least say Dante and Hart are getting that experience right now. But this is where you just need Randall. And it goes back to needing Julius Randall because offensively, only two guys on this team can create in isolation. It's Brunson and it's Randall. That's right. why it just, it just, it just, you can't have him coming back in the playoffs. That's just insane to me because, all right, game one, we'll see what happens. Yeah. It just doesn't work. I mean, he's going to need a ramp. That what we did. For, we did that for the Cavs series. And thankfully, the Cavs are soft. Right. Yeah. Thankfully, the Cavs are soft. Like, if you're telling me we're going against the Cavs, and I guess that's where the the other the the other element of this too is. Like, who are you who are you projected to go against in the first round? If you're telling me it would be Miami, CP, I do not want Julius to come back for the first time to play Miami and now have to figure out they're going against Eric Spolster, Jimmy Butler, and Bam Adebayo, and having to get his offense back. If you're yeah. telling me it's the Cleveland Cavaliers, I could stomach that a little bit more. I don't think Evan Mobley is ready to handle Julius Randle, but yeah. yeah. You know, ideally you get him back before the playoffs so that way he can work on his game. 